Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ulina and I'm Nister from Norway. And today is Christmas Eve and I'm wearing my Christmas dress, of course. The whole saga of that I have in another video if you're interested in that. But today I'm here to tell you all about my Christmas Eve costume. That's a tradition. I cast on a new project for myself, selfish nets only on Christmas Eve. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, tradition. I cast on something new every Christmas Eve for myself and this year it's going to be the porcelain sweater and I've had this yarn for quite a long time and I'm going to make, be making it in drops flora and drops kid silk in white and then in blue and I'm really excited about this combination. Um, as I said, it is Christmas Eve uh, today. I am filming this right before leaving uh, for church and then my parents were going to be gone the whole day so I'm just packing this with me to have and then uh, whenever I have the time to cast on I will I haven't done a swatch yet and I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time to knit today so I think I'm just going to skip the whole swatch because I really want to start working on the sweater and I just don't uh, want to do a swatch first because I think that will eat up all of my knitting time today so I'm just going to jump straight in but I thought I would bring you guys along with me for the whole process of knitting up this sweater. I know I've been super nervous and intimidated by this pattern so maybe this video can help you if you're also intimidated. Um, I hope so, I hope it's not a too hard pattern, I hope I'm just building it up in my brain but anyways I thought I would bring you guys along with me on the process of knitting this up. Um, I've done a bit of color work before, primarily Marius uh, Gensere, Marius sweaters. That's a traditional Norwegian, Norwegian pattern and I've done quite a few of those. Um, but I've never done color work on the pearl side before so that's a really scary part for me. But I hope that my um, little practice with color work from before will help me out with this. So I'm crossing my fingers that that will help, but I'm just super excited to actually get started now and just see if it's really as hard as I imagine or if it will just um, kind of fly by. But I'm also for this project going to keep in mind and I'm really trying to, um, after this Christmas season and after this whole year really, I'm trying to get more in the mindset of enjoying the process and the process taking as long as it will and just not stressing through all of my projects like I've been doing a lot this year. I want to enjoy the process and not just stress towards the finished result. So that's also something I'm going to keep in mind and also because of this Christmas dress I have um, almost no finished Christmas presents so that's also something I'm going to be continuing working on but I'm going to be casting this on today and then we'll just see how long it will take me if I manage to kind of de-stress and work on it a bit slower than usual uh, or and how much time Christmas present steals away from this project but yeah I just wanted to do this intro and let you know we're starting, it's Christmas Eve, I'm excited.
hi i'm back with a little update on my first lens sweater i think this is my third day working on it um and this is how far i've gotten i've done the first border this is going to be the back uh, panel on my back and i've just started working on the shoulder i don't think you necessarily can see the transition because it did turn out to be very seamless but I've picked up stitches here for the shoulder and I've done a couple of German short rows so now I'm ready to start it's going to be like this I'm going to I'm ready to start doing the increases to shape the neck and this shoulder worked up very quickly so I think uh, I'm going to be joining together in the round very soon and my dream would be to join in the round and do the first border today because I'm really excited to join everything together to be able to try it on. But just joining in the front so I can try it on over my head is going to be great. And I'm going to do the ribbing around the neck as soon as I can just to get a more accurate feel on how this will fit. But it's so fun to work up. I was a bit afraid when I first started the color work because I used quite a long time to figure out how to do color work on the pearl side um, all the way back here. I struggled with that. I did a few stitches, frogged, did a few stitches, frogged, it didn't turn out right but I finally cracked it and after that it's been quite smooth sailing. I did have a few problems with this, I don't know what you would call it, a star or rose maybe um i had a few problems with that because i just <sighs> counted my stitches wrong all the time i had to frog back uh, did the row again did something wrong again so um for a few of these rounds i've definitely knit them like two or three times at least because i was watching a movie and not um paying attention to how many blues and whites i was supposed to do but in the end, uh, they turned out super pretty and I'm already in love with this sweater and how it's turning out. And I'm so pleased with my colors as well. When I started, again, yeah, was a bit afraid when I started that uh, the blue was going to be too light, too dark. I don't know, but this is like the perfect contrast to me. It's not a too dark blue. It's not too light. It just stands out a perfect amount, I think. So now I'm just super excited to go back and continue working on this, even though I am also working on Christmas gifts, but uh, and I'm trying to only work on this in the night when my son's asleep uh, for my sanity and just so I can also focus on Christmas gifts because since this is color work, I'm not trying to do that while my son's awake. But today I've only been doing this white um, part here and started the shoulder and all that's just one color. So I'm doing it even though my son's awake just because I am obsessed with this project. But once I get to the color work again, I'm probably going to put this to the side and continue working on my Christmas gifts. But that's my little update.
hi i'm back with another update and even though i don't think this video is going to be out for a while still i just have to say happy new year it is now the first day of 2024 and i'm excited to start the new year see what the new year is going to give um see what i'm going to be knitting on in 2024 but this is an update for the porcelain sweater um so here it is i've done the neck um, I knit a couple of centimeters and then folded it down and knit it down I think you were supposed to sew it down but that just seemed uh, like a worse solution so I just decided to knit it down that seemed a lot simpler to me I've done that a lot more so I just decided to go with that and it worked out I really <laughs> enjoy how it turned out and I love doing the neckline quite early in the project because now I um, get to see much more how it's going to turn out. I'm also done with both the front and the back panel and I just joined in the round yesterday um, at New Year's but I didn't knit that much because I was kind of focused on celebrating we were playing board games that's kind of been the theme for me this um, like Christmas period be between Christmas and New Year's I've been kind of fatigued because of everything I have been knitting on before Christmas so I've just been taking this period to really calm down and not knit as much and not stress about any of my pro uh, projects um, and I'm going to keep at least try to keep that energy with me in 2024 but I'm starting to feel a bit less fatigued from everything going on. So hopefully I'll be motivated to knit more on this. I'm about to start uh, the second uh, color work chart. Excited to see how that will go. So far it's been going better than I anticipated. So definitely super excited to continue this. I just moved into my new... Um, bullet journal as well and uh, my bullet journal for knitters I've written down all of my current projects I went into this year with a lot of new projects so I'm just excited now to be using this to knit everything I'm super excited so I think I'm actually going to use this chance to get a couple of stitches in but that's my little update I'm back to just give a quick update as you might have seen I've not been doing a lot of knitting for, for the past few uh, days I don't know but I've gotten bangs I've changed rooms I've just been doing a lot of non knitting things and combining the porcelain sweater with this has just been hard but I think since the last talking update I've done the color and quite a bit on this second color work um, chart. I lost stitches by picking that up, of course. But um, I've just been having a really hard time finding time to work on this because uh, where I'm now, I am at the part where you do uh, what I would kind of call maybe leaves. And those have been really hard for me, all the count counting and everything, and I've made a lot of mistakes. I think I've frogged as much as I've knit on those, honestly. And it's just been really hard to find time where I can focus enough on it to do it right. At night, I'm almost too tired to read the chart right and all do all the counting. And during the day, I just don't really have those time periods to sit down and just really knit on it. I can maybe do a few stitches here and there but 
not a lot more than that. So this is taking me quite a lot of time right now, but I hope um, I'll uh, get to a point where it goes a bit easier soon. Um, I feel I've done a couple of rows on the leaves now and I feel like I'm getting more into it and it's getting a bit easier. So hopefully that'll help. We're also done with all the like non-knitting related stuff. We've, we're done uh, movie, switching rooms. We're done with all of that. So now I can hopefully use my free time to knit on this because I do really want to finish it in January. And it's not, I think I'll have to knit a lot more on this if I'm going to manage that because I've already knit on it for more than two weeks only to get this far so i'm excited to continue knitting on this um, and we'll talk later another update I think and hope this is going to be one of the last updates I give um, last we talked I was just trying to get back into this porcelain after having a bit of a slump with my motivation <laughs> but um, since I started back up with it again and trying to uh, get my motivation back up I've had a lot of motivation I just want to knit on this all the time which means I progressed through the body really quickly after that. I've also decided to do um, the color work color at the bottom of the hem of both the body and I'm going to do it on the sleeves as well just to tie um, the color work back into the ribbing as well and I quite like the look of that. I just did it for the um, tube blue bind off basically um, and I really like that. So the body is now all done and I've started working on one sleeve and I'm back to working on the leaves again and <laughs> they are not any better this time either. Um, I've just done, I've just started on the first row of the leaves 
now and I've already had to throw I think three or four times um, the first time I read the chart wrong and then I've counted wrong and I've counted wrong and I've counted wrong uh, but now I'm on to the second row and I hope it's going to get a bit better uh, just because I have fewer stitches to work with so I should have uh, less possibilities to make a mistake um, but yeah these leaves definitely are kicking my butt they are the hardest part of this pattern hands down but I'm hopefully going to get through uh, the first sleeve today uh, I, at least I want to get through the leaves um, but it would be nice to get through the first pattern today, uh, the first sleeve today and then the second one tomorrow because I really want this um, done all and swived in everything by Wednesday. So I'm working on this a lot right now, but I'm really loving how it's turning out. I've tried it on, I did try it on after the body is complete too and I love how it looks and uh, when you work on the color work and you finish each section so you can actually like really look at it instead of just looking at like each uh, row at a time it does really pull together and I'm super excited to wear this I think this must be the prettiest thing I've ever made and I'm definitely going to do more color work after doing this because it has been really fun and really challenging so it's definitely something I want to do more of. Welcome to this very last update. As you can see, my porcelain sweater is all done. It's actually been done for 
very close to a week now but I finished this on the car ride down to visit a friend and I just did not find the time to record this wrap up while there so here it is it's been a week I've been wearing it a ton and I am absolutely in love with this porcelain sweater I am definitely going to do more color work I am definitely going to probably knit more from Lena Homsamse. I know she has released a sweater that's quite similar to this one but with a bit of structure as well just recently now I'm also eyeing that a bit but for the porcelain sweater I'm absolutely in love I'm in love with the colors I chose I'm in love with how those color colors suit me I absolutely love this little detail here where I brought the color work color back down to the end of the ribbing just to tie that in because especially on the sleeves there is quite a large portion of just white on the body that is a lot smaller but especially on the sleeves I thought it was really nice to tie that blue color back in and I really like just a pop of color that uh, gives towards the end of the ribbing um, and I absolutely love the fit of this. It's perfectly oversized. I was a bit afraid it was going to be a bit long when knitting it since you don't knit it based on length. You just knit it based on um, rows. So I was a bit afraid it was going to be a bit longer than I would want. But it didn't really turn out to be too long just because um, the ribbing kind of cinches it in a bit. and. I must say I did cut two centimeters off on the ribbing just because I was afraid it was going to be a bit too long but after doing that I think it hits perfectly. I'm also really proud of the fact that I got the color work on the sleeves to line up with the color work on the body. So this project just has a lot of details that intimidated me and now that I've done it I'm so happy I went for it and I'm so proud that I went for it and this I feel like this opened a lot of doors for me when it comes to uh, things I can knit and just diving into patterns even though they really scare me um, and I think this pattern was a lot more beginner friendly than I imagined because of the whole and knitting color work back and forth but that was way easier than I had ever imagined honestly I think maybe this chart was one of the easiest one this chart here which I thought was going to be easier since it's knit in the round was definitely the one that kicked my butt the most but that's also because I'm a bit bad at counting and keeping track of what I'm doing and I looked at the chart on my phone instead of printing it out so I probably <laughs> made that harder for myself than it had to be so if you want to make this but, you, this but you're a bit on the fence because it looks intimidating I would say that it's not as intimidating as it looks and there are a lot of really good uh, tutorials on YouTube or on Instagram honestly if you want to try to do that. I also had a knit along group where we all knit this and we could ask each other questions. How are you doing this? Uh, I have a problem understanding this. Please explain the pattern to me. And that was also so wonderful to just see everyone troubleshooting and be able to troubleshoot with each other. So if you have a pattern you find intimidating but you really want to do, I would... Um, highly encourage uh, doing it in, as a knit along just so everyone can troubleshoot together but yeah I think that's uh, everything I need to say about this porcelain sweater now um, you've been with me along the journey of making this I'm absolutely actually a bit surprised it only took me about a month to knit this because of all of the color work and how intimidated I was and that I just wanted this to be like a slow um, project where I really dove into color work and tried to learn myself that um, but it actually did only take one month and I'm so uh, happy it's done now and I just want to wear this all the time um, I actually have not cut the ends off yet 
all of the ends are woven in but as I did that in the car on the way to my friend I just have not cut some of them yet because I didn't have scissors and now I kind of can't be bothered because I just tuck them in and you can't see them so this whole sleeve has a lot of ends just loose but I have not gone in and cut them off yet but I think that's everything I'm going to ramble on about here. I hope you enjoyed this video of me knitting this porcelain sweater up. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Bye!